Hello Internet! This is Ben with another Mysterious Space update, and I wanted to make sure that you could hear this music. Uh, this is the theme that DDR Kirby ISQ has put together. The, uh, so the tune... I, gosh, I don't want to talk because I want you to hear it. Well, the tune is something that um, he's actually had in mind for a while, and it you can hear it in some of the existing songs. He, he kind of sneaks it in, in in little ways, maybe changes the, the tempo a little bit or, or does other things, but it, but it is present in other songs, which I think is really cool. Um, so that is, and this and along with a new Lava theme, I believe I mentioned last update, are going to be in this next release. But before I, I get into a bunch of that, so this week has been like super crazy busy at work. Uh, in addition to one guy having a vacation, much deserved because he works way too much, uh, we've kind of been hit with like, you know, a release date and all this crazy testing and then post-release testing and just all this stuff. Uh, and everyone's been working a little bit over time, including me. So I have not had as much time as I would like to work on Mysterious Space, which I feel like this is a recurring theme. I don't... And I, I don't know, I feel badly about that. But the good news is, I'm not the only person contributing to Mysterious Space. DDR Kirby ISQ is continuing to make amazing, amazing music. Um, I just met with the uh, French girl uh, uh, today, and she showed me a bunch of text that she has translated. And some of that is already in the game, and, and I want to show you that. And that's why it, you can see it's in French right now, the menu. Um, not everything is in French yet obviously already. Um, and she has been focusing on the uh, dialogue and journal entries that you can pick up in the game. So a lot of like, the little UI stuff, uh, like this menu, um, you know, where it says hole and shields and all this, all of those sorts of things, those are already done with Google Translate. And I'm pretty confident that the, those translations are, are pretty good uh, because, you know, they're just one single word thing. So they're probably going to work out. Um, but yeah, all, all that stuff like the journal entries and the dialogue you have with the ship AI, those are not so clear. Um, or sorry, those, those would be really bad to translate through Google Translate. Uh, those would come out unclear. Uh, so, so that's what she's been focusing on. I think that's also personally just her interest. She finds that text more interesting to do. And, and she's been doing an awesome job. And we've been going back and forth on, you know, she's had questions about some of the log entries, like, what is this talking about? What's in Abu Kier Drive? Or I can't remember how to say the guy's name. Uh, it's, it's a real life thing, you know? So, so you know, who, who knows? You, you probably haven't heard of that either. It's, it's a, yeah, if I, if I could say the name well, I would tell you to, to Google it or Wikipedia it or whatever, but Al, 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 Al Kier? I don't, gosh, now I want to look it up. I don't know. It's, um, it's a French name. Uh, and it's a guy who described basically how you would do a real-life warp bubble, you know, like they're always talking about doing in Star Trek to, to travel great distances faster than the speed of light. Um, there's this theoretical thing you could do. Uh, and, you know, mathematically and, and physically it seems possible, but you would need, like, as much energy as there is in our sun to make this thing happen. So, you know, good luck with that. But anyway, you know, it's a sci-fi setting. Someone has figured that out. Anyway, so, so things like that are mentioned, and she's got questions. Another interesting issue, and if anyone playing and listening knows, I would be fascinated to know. Um, so there is a journal entry where a guy is basically hooking up with an AI, uh, but as an AI that has always been an AI, I didn't think that they would associate with any particular gender. Uh, so I want to refer to the, to the AIs in, in a genderless way. And in English, that's not so bad, uh, but we're not really sure how you do that in French, because in French you have la and le. You, you, you use different words if it's masculine or feminine. Every word is masculine or feminine, and that's a common trait in a lot of languages. Uh, German has three. You have masculine and feminine, and, and I think neuter or neutral. Um, and yeah, French and Spanish have, have this sort of thing too. We have masculine and feminine. So every noun, lemonade, is masculine or feminine. Um, amusingly, I always thought this was hilarious, and of course we looked this up in high school, in high school French. I took high school French. Penis, I think, is feminine, and, and you know, it's <laughs> silly, and so like, ah, you know, French. <laughs> um, th that's what I remember most from French high school. I remember some little other things. Anyway, so, so yeah, how do you refer to people in a, in a gender-neutral way in, in languages where you have... Um, you know, every noun is gendered. So that's kind of an interesting problem. And, and I'm sure that, you know, the French LGBT, etc. community 
has figured this out, but we we're just not aware of it. So anyway, I'm I'm sure a little bit of research will reveal the truth. But if anyone uh, knows that that'd be awesome. Please do do tell me. Um, so anyway, let me show you some of the decks in the game. That was quite a bit of rambling, and we will get out. So you may notice I don't think I even some of the text is weird and nestled in the game in ways that I have not been able to just easily pull out. This I should have. I just forgot. So I'm gonna have to send this to her, and, and we'll get this translated. This is a little awkward because it's this randomly generated um, mad libbed thing, you know, to generate these different stories about your ship. And so uh, you know, that's going to be a whole other thing. I'm like, whoa, we'll just save that for later. Let's not worry about that. But I will name my ship Fromage, which is cheese. And here we go. We've got some little French things. Bonjour, commandant. I don't, I'm not going to try and read much more French than that because désolé, I can say that. I really don't want to read more. It's just going to be embarrassing. I just love some French, though. Maintenance, I guess. I don't. I just. Oh, I love those French noises. It's so great. Um, pas de problème. Yeah, I remember that phrase. Anyway, yeah. So we've got these little bits. Très bien. Uh, some things. I mean, she's given me this text. This uh, let's do some flight exercises and some target practice. Events. I just haven't put it all in. So there is more I have in a Word document she sent me than, than is in the game and you know that's something I'm working on anyway let's let's say no because I believe the parts after this aren't translated and actually I don't think this is either yeah um, but some of the text like when you first encounter uh, lava I've, I've put that text in the game I don't know that I've done the mini boss but anyway there's a bunch of that sort of text that that is in the game and let me actually let's um, Oh no, she hasn't sent me any of the journals yet. She showed me that tonight, but I haven't received any of that, so I can't show you another journal, any of the journal text translated. I was going to do the Konami code so I could start with a bunch of journals and show you, but yeah, I forgot. So that's my update, really. Uh, the other thing, though, that I'm working on and I want to release, and I really did, didn't I say I was going to have a release for you guys in the middle of this week? It's Friday. Well, technically it's Friday. It's Thursday night, but it's rolled over to 2 a.m., 2.30. Um... Yeah, so I, I really wanted to have a thing out for you guys, but again, it, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and even today, it's all just been like working overtime, and then I'm just, I'm done. I need to not, you know, stare at code anymore. Um, so I hang out with friends and play games, and maybe that's, I mean, that's life, you know, I, I cannot just like continue to work nonstop like that. So I unfortunately don't have the release for you already, uh, which is part of why I'm making this as an apology, um, but at least to show you some progress. Um, and the thing that I want to finish before I release, because the translation work, I don't need all of that to come in, you know, before releasing. I'm happy to have partial. It's already been partial, you know. I mean, any improvement is an improvement, so I, I'm happy to get those out in any kind of state of doneness. Something, though, I can't release in a partial state is the new mushrooms, which I told you guys about last update, where we're going to have mushroom-covered worlds, and that's in a weird state of in-betweenness where the game's not playing properly right now. Um, so I can't release, right? i got to finish that up before I can release. So... Unfor you know, I was hoping, I was like, yeah, I'll get that done, and maybe I'll get a little more, you know, before I release. That's not going to happen. It's just going to be, you know, get the mushrooms and get it out, because um, I want to get something out to you guys as soon as possible. Um, and then, as I mentioned before, I think kind of try and get on a monthly schedule of making sure that I have the game in a releasable form at the end of every month, and then, bam, you, you have an update. Uh, that would be, I would love to be in a spot where there's a schedule like that, um, so that people, you know, so, you, so that you know when, when there's some new stuff to check out. Um, so, anyway, that's, I believe, the extent of the update. Oh, and if you want to listen to the music, the sound test, I think I mentioned this before. Do I have a controller plugged in? No, I don't. But, Mysterious Space, unlike some games, allows you to plug a controller in after it has run. Have you ever played a game where that doesn't work? I have, and it always pisses me off, so I knew, see? I think I've shown that before. Anyway, so there's an old, and I think I've mentioned this before, it's like an old Sega Game Gear, lots of games you use this code, it was Barrac Barracuda. So we do B, A, right, there isn't a C, so I used X, Bar uh, wait, bar uh, uh, A, C, okay, up, down, A, oh, I did it wrong, okay, B, A, bear, uh, I'm doing left instead of right, because I can't keep left and right straight in my brain. And east and west, those confuse me. Okay, B-A-R-A-C-U-D-A. 
there we go. So if you want, you can listen to any song. Um, and let me see if I can find the lava theme. The new lava theme. I really love the uh, Walking, I will get some of these songs. I think it's the water one that I usually get stuck in my head. I love the music he's made. It's amazing. I think this is it. I think this is the lava... The, the lava theme. Um... But you can do this code yourself, do a Barracuda, and I think that's in the previous release, but, you know, the new songs aren't aren't in here. So so this is the this is the new lava music. And I really hope I need to ask uh, DDR Kirby ISQ about this. I think he should sell a copy of the soundtrack on Bandcamp. Because he already got a bunch of music on Bandcamp. He should just be selling this stuff. I mean it's good. I love it, and, and I realize that by working with it so much and listening to it so much, I am biased. That can't be helped. But I mean, I contacted DDR Kirby ISQ in the beginning because I listened to some of the stuff, and the style was, was exactly what I wanted, and I'm so happy it worked out, because um, I had never gotten in contact with a musician before to make music. Um, so yeah, I'm, God, I, I know, it's amazing. This song is really good. This is one of the later ones, and it's really good. And there's, you know, there's a story about this. So, there was a lava theme before this one, um, and I didn't like it. Uh, like, 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 I was picking some songs that he had already made to just sort of jumpstart the library. And so I found uh, the, the lava song. I was never quite happy with the choice. I just kind of picked. It's like, well, this is pretty good. You know, it's a little tense. It's kind of got the feeling I want. We're gonna go for it, but it wasn't quite the feeling I wanted. It's still a good song. And, and it, it's in the version that's out now, uh, but it wasn't what I wanted for the for the lava world. Uh, and so I asked uh, one week. Usually he he makes a song from scratch, submits it to this one hour competition thing. And I was like, well, maybe you know, could you like remix the existing song? Because I kind of like some of the things going on, but maybe we could we could you know make it a little more in this direction. And we essentially wasted that whole evening. He's not used to making music in that way, and I didn't quite know what I wanted. And I'm bad at expressing how I want music, because I just don't know the vo vocabulary, you know, I've never studied music. Um, so so that ended up a waste, and I felt real bad, because I felt like I'd wasted both of our time. Um, and so the next time, I was just like, do whatever you want, you, you know what you're doing, don't listen to me, just just make something awesome, and, and then here it is, here's this awesome new Lava song. Um, yeah. It's really good, it's really good. So I hope you guys will enjoy the music, uh, and I don't know how many people know French and are more comfortable with French than they are with English. I hope you are out there and I hope you're playing and I hope that the additional uh, French translation is, you know, going to be good for you guys. It's clear, I'm, I really have no idea the the distribution of people, uh, you know, uh, language preference. How, how do I, I don't even know what I'm saying. You know what I mean, I hope. So I really don't know how many people would enjoy having the game in French or or German or other languages. I, just, I have no way of knowing. Um, and it's almost impossible to find out, because I can't advertise the game in French communities when it's not in French. You know, how many people are like, oh, I would play that if it wasn't in French. I'm just not going to hear that opinion, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm only going to find out by making it in those languages, and then hopefully the people who want them uh, want the game in those languages will, will buy it. Um, anyway. Uh, I've kept you long enough, as I always do. Uh, when will I have a new release? I should always... I never remember to get to this point until the very end, and I should tell you guys sooner. When do I hope to have a new release? I don't know. <laughs> this weekend, I will have time to myself. Uh, there is one day where I'm hanging out with people, Saturday, uh, but that's not going to be all day. And then Sunday, as well, I can get done. So hopefully I... I should totally be able to finish up the mushrooms. There is not that much to do. I'm like three-fifths, eh, let's say a half done with the mushroom stuff. And I got that far in a day issue of work, you know? And not a whole day, you know, because I had a full-time, I still got the full-time job, like a day after my, my full-time job um, or two of, of work, yeah. So, so anyway, hopefully, hopefully, I, I really don't want to make promises because at this point, because I just feel so nervous about how much <laughs> work has been going on, um, but I will try my best to get the release out this weekend uh, with with the new Mushroom mini boss thing, as I described, and again, all this awesome music and the French translation. Um, German translation stuff I don't know about yet. I have to get in contact with him again and, and, and find out. 
Um, and I know there's a lot of other things I've been talking about wanting to do, and I unfortunately don't have updates for those things. But I, I am those. That's all getting worked on the background too. Um, I'm actually talking uh, to a guy tomorrow about the donation stuff. Um, I'm gonna call him up. So when I know more about all those things, I will, I will let you know. Uh, but just because I'm not talking about it doesn't mean it's, you know, it's not it's still a thing. So anyway, thank you again for listening. Thank you for playing. Thank you for being patient, if you're being patient. And if you're not patient, I'm sorry that I have frustrated you. <laughs> but uh, I'm, I'm working on it. We're going to get a new release out sooner rather than later. Thank you, and goodbye.